were talking to teen prostitutes and teen porn stars. Now, when she was a teenager, my next guest thought sex was an easy way to make money. But now at age 25, she knows how wrong she was. And her name is Tiana. Hi, Tiana. Hi. So today, you've, you've been watching the show, I'm sure, yes. in the back. And yes, you've I seen uh, a teen prostitute and a teen porn star. And I hear that you relate to their stories very much. I am those girls. I was those girls. I, I started out as a stripper, you know, and uh, progressed into webcam, then progressed into prostitution, and progressed into being a porn star, porn actress. Mm -hmm. And it's just, a, it's, a slippery, it's a slippery slope because you start off saying, okay, I'm gonna start off as a topless dancer. And you do that and it's easy and you make money and then you're like, well, I can make more money if I was doing full nude. And then you do full nude and then I was working in a strip club when I met my pimp. And he introduced me into prostitution and I was making $10,000 a week or more. And it's a lifestyle. I mean, you drive a nice car, mm -hmm. you live in a nice house, you have tons of money, you can buy whatever you want. But what, what does that get you in the end? I don't have any of the things from when I did that. I know that you have some advice for Victoria. Victoria, 14 year old and she's 16 year old prostitution. Money and material things can be gone like that. And then you did all those things for what? For what? Nothing, nothing. Doesn't make you a better person. Doesn't make you smarter. Doesn't get you ahead in life. All it does is numbs you. Like you said, it does, it really does. And I'm glad that you realize that because it took me a long time. Mm -hmm. And I know you have something for Sasha as well. The things that you do, the things that I've seen, the things that you say, you say you're in a business that is sexually positive. You said that. What is sexually positive about licking a toilet seat? I didn't say that I'm in a business that's sexually positive. I said I try to do it in a sex positive way. Those are things I chose to do. That's something I created, actually. Okay, I have a question. Would you want to be alone in a room with the guy that watches you be sexually abused by a male in your films? Would you want to be alone with the guy that watches those videos and thinks that's how that girl is, and if I was with her, I could punch her, I could spit on her, I could disrespect her in any way that I could think of, and that's okay? Do you think that's sending a good message to anyone else that's out there? I'm not with a guy that does that. So no, obviously I don't want to do that. You know what I like right. about this right now? I can say any, all that I want to you, Sasha. You know, I didn't live your life. It is so easy for me with my past and, and my life to look at you and say, why are you doing this? And I can understand you rolling your eyes at me and saying, whatever. But Tiana has lived it. And when someone has lived it and they challenge you, it's, it's just a whole nother world. But and I even see how you're responding to her is a little bit different than you're responding to me. And it's like, it's almost like you're second guessing or checking or something, which with me was a lot different. And I can understand why and it's different. And, and the, all the other aside, what you're physically doing to your body, physically doing to your body, by the time you are 30 years old, you're gonna be wearing a diaper. No, because actually, you're not going to be able to, not to hold in your bodily fluids. That's Dr. Not Drew, and tell us, he's a doctor. If she doesn't get prolapse of those organs, yes, yeah, she'll be wearing a diaper, yes. And, and also, I, have I don't friend. have a pimp, so, um, you know, that's a little different, and I'm not a prostitute. And that's a whole different world. That's a whole your other life. Your pimp is sitting next to you. No, oh he's not a pimp. <laughs> what does he do? We will be right back. Your pimp right back. is sitting next to you. Mark, I know you're um, Sasha's agent for the pornography world, and um, at our heated, you know, before the break, it was very heated, and Tiana said that you were her pimp. What did that feel like to hear that? Well, we didn't have a chance to respond, but... Um, you do now. Okay, well, unlike a pimp, A, she doesn't do anything she doesn't want to do. We, I, you know, I've never gotten a girl into the Is it business. true that the things that she does makes you more money? 
than what? regular girls. The things that she's doing is making you more money. Her doing all these different things, the, that's a big paycheck for you, isn't it? Uh, basically, that's almost the standard norm in this business right now. I mean, it's not like she's doing anything I just got outrageous. out last October. I made it through the whole way. I was 40 pounds overweight, and I still was not doing what she is doing right now. What is Dell not doing what she was doing right now? What well, does your yeah, but I mean, you, she only does whatever she wants to. I, I, you can see the email she sent me when she first started. But you're started. still not answering my question. What? It is a big percentage to you, the things that she is doing, because she does everything. No, I'm not getting any money from her. You are lying. <laughs> I'm, no, the, the company pays us a fee when the girls are booked. And, and it's the same fee no matter, you know, what they're doing. The girls get paid, you know, by the scene, depending upon what they do. However, she doesn't have to do anything she doesn't want to do either. You don't pay a percentage to your agent in the porn world? Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, you do. I thought percentage is whether you're an actor, singer, whatever it is in entertainment, it's a percentage-based business. Come on, Mark, let's, let's be real here. What? No, that... One thing, Dr. Ju, that you say is that you know, in this type of world, people will rationalize. Right, the thinking is anything. very distorted. Yeah, yeah, it's very distorted. And the fact is, I, you know, every heroin addict I know loves doing heroin, chooses to do heroin, not doing anything they wouldn't choose to do. Addicts and people who are doing destructive behaviors do it because that's what they want to do. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make it healthier. It doesn't make it okay. They're destroying themselves. And I, unfortunately, get to see these people on their knees when they're begging for help. And that's where this always goes. It if always it didn't, It could be a healthy behavior. Who knows? The fact is, it's destructive. If it were not destructive, we wouldn't all be shaking our head. Why would someone put themselves in this position? And Victoria wouldn't be crying the whole time. <laughs> Victoria wouldn't be crying. But, you know, this, the, before the break, Victoria, when um, Tiana and Sasha were speaking, you were breaking down crying, just crying so hard sitting in that chair. What was, what was going through your mind? I guess just all the emotions just came out because I, I always numbed it all. I still do. I block it out. Tiana, what can you do? What can you say to help Victoria? Because as I said, I can say a lot, but I have not lived it. You have. Love yourself. Would you talk? Would you turn to her? Love yourself because other people aren't going to love. They're, they're going to do anything. They're not going to help you be better. They're going to help you be worse. Mm -hmm. You know, and you need to do it yourself. And you need to learn that money is not everything. Mm -hmm. And material things are not everything. Your mom, you love your mom because when I came out here, my dad for the first time in six years told me he was proud of me. Six years. He told me he was proud of me. And you have time. You don't have to waste your life. You know, I have a daughter now, and I couldn't even imagine her being in your place. Never. You know? It's... Thank you. Thank you, Tiana. We'll be right back. Dr. Drew, I want to thank you for your insight. You always bring something extra, and always educating all of us. You know, we think we know. And then you come and show up and you just, you know, you put that extra in, um, in informing us. So thank you for that. And I just want to let everyone know that the lifestyle that we talked about today is not something that I condone at all. And to any teenager out there who's even thinking about making money in the sex industry, I want you to listen carefully. No matter how tough you think your life is, no matter what has happened to you or how dark a place that you are in, there are so many other places to turn for validation and support than pornography and prostitution. Because money that comes that easy has a lot of consequences. And I know we've all heard it. If it's too good to be true, if it sounds like it's too good to be true, it probably is. So whatever money you make, you will pay for emotionally. And you may even pay for it with your life. And I know that's what your mother is scared for. And I feel like we had a big breakthrough with you today. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Victoria. All right, for more information on today's show, I want you to visit my website, tyrashow.com. Everybody, be safe. Be safe. See you later.